Okay, so this is going to be a voiceover with me riding to Fort Bliss, Texas. So if you've never been on a military base or an army base, this is going to kind of give you a tour of our area where I am stationed at. I live off base in El Paso, but I commute about 15 miles a day. And, uh, you know, and the drive's not too bad. I mean, right now with everything going on, our traffic isn't as heavy as it normally is. Uh, on the main road that I get on in 375 can get pretty overbearing sometimes, but for the most part, it's usually pretty easy to get through, certainly on the motorcycle. Um, with warmer temperatures coming in, I'm gonna start riding the motorcycle full time than I normally do with driving my car. Uh, which helps on my gas. So my motorcycle I have is the CB500F. Uh, it's not a race bike, it's just a straight street bike that gets very good gas mileage. I get about 130 miles to a full tank, which has about a 3.5 gallon tank. Cost me about $10 or less to fill up with premium. So uh, overall, you know, I'm not too, uh, I'm never, I never complain. And the oil change is very easy to do. It's less than $30 to change the oil, which I do myself. And I just drop the oil off at AutoZone or Home Depot. So um, we'll, uh, we'll go through and uh, kind of give you a little scenic route and uh, hopefully you will enjoy this video. So right here on the left hand side is the new William Beaumont Hospital. This is going to be a military plus VA hospital. Currently right now they have one that's up the hill that I go to normally. Uh, but this has been remodeling for quite a while or they've been building it for quite a while. I've been here for over two years and this was supposed to open up back in October and it's April and it's not open yet. Okay, so in this here, we're gonna be going over the month of March sales and everything that we made in our net sales, which was a total of $1,499.86. And then we'll go item by item for the top 10 items as far as what my gross sale was to what my net sale was. And we'll go down the list first and then show you individual items. Of, so that way you can be able to see what I sell when it comes to military gear or any personal items that I was able to source from home. And then what I'm also sourcing from stores. So starting off first, the uh, number one item here that I had my top in item sale was this Hargig uh, TL500 plastic case. Now with this here, it was a total sale of $267 and then minus the selling cost, which was the shipping fees and everything else. And I had a net sale of $104. Now minus the $20 where I was able to source this from. Uh, and I'll go in more detail where, I, what I, why I knew that this was gonna be a high value item. And then next up here is just a uh, pair of Motorcycle boots that I had, um, I had a total sale of $114 and a net sale of $64.34. So this was, like I said, this was just a getting rid of item. Next up also is the Nintendo 3DS, a uh, total sale of $74 and a net sale of $69.06. So not too bad on that. And I believe the shipping was about $6.95. Uh, the lot of four uh, guitar heroes right here it was $71.90 because I had to give a refund and I ended up making $31.43 and a little more um, didn't make as much money as I wanted to on that net sale unfortunately 
Uh, the Hydromax, this is a consignment. I sold two of them for $54.96, uh, minus the sales of so $48.01, and I divided that by two because I am giving 50% of that profit, net profit, to the individual that consigned that, uh, those items. Uh, eight pound weights, uh, $53, which was kind of crazy. Um, so the net sale was $31.76. Uh, the Sony Walkman, $53. I had a uh, net sale of $30, and I sourced that for about $5.99 at an estate sale. Um, and then next up is the OCP Camo Pants. I sold two of them for $48.74 and made a net sale of $42.52. And we're going to skip the number 10 because I didn't make any money. I made $7.14 off of that, but the total sale was high. Uh, the next one was the Men's Fila 11 and a half. I was $37.99 and I made a $29.77. So we'll go down by the list. So this was here with a footwalker. And the reason why I sourced this at a thrift store, um, it was going for 20 bucks. And I already knew that it had a high value sell. So I ended up picking it up. I checked the sold comps, they were about $180, $190. So I bit the bullet, I still knew that I can still make some good money. I knew that the shipping was gonna be a lot, so I had an experience where I had it based on flat rate shipping for like $50, and a gentleman in New York City wanted to buy it, but it would have cost me $140 just to ship it to him, whether it was FedEx, UPS, or USPS, freight, and I said no. So I, we had to cancel it, I relisted it, I did calculated shipping, just sold it a couple uh, weeks ago to a gentleman in Pensacola, Florida. He paid about $90 shipping and got the, got the tough box, and so I still ended up making pretty good profit on this, minus my expense was $20. These here, I owned these before, so there was no really any loss other than what I paid for when I originally was using them. Another item here, I had this gaming system here for quite a while and I just stopped playing video games. Um, I, I just don't have the time and I used it when I was deployed, but just didn't have the time when I'm home. So there's a lot of four Guitar Heroes here that I ended up biting the bullet on one of them. I had to give $20 back. That's why my net sales profit was a lot lower than I expected. And the reason being was because one of them, the Whammy Bar, had dog bites in it and I didn't notice that. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of tour of Fort Bliss here. Uh, this is reaching up to one of the side gates. Right now, with everything going on, our gates are specific hours, specific traffic, whether it's commercial or military personnel. So this one here, I had to divert my route around to this gate to get on base uh, in order to uh, in order to <laughs> get on with my motorcycle. So one of the good things that they've have are these scanning in which most military bases have these now and it actually works out for my in my favor now because the motorcycles weren't able to reach them and as you can see here the guy salutes me because as an officer they have to be able to render their customs and courtesies and I get saluted that's just part of the protocol so 
Right now we're on base. This chapel here that you kind of vaguely saw on the right hand side is a German chapel. We wanted to get married there um, back in November, but unfortunately it was near impossible. Uh, and then we are around base housing here. A lot of it is kind of run down housing that they're remodeling. But right now on the left hand side, they still have housing available for enlisted personnel. Um, and it's just not that good. I, I, I never want to ever live on base because of the amount that it costs to live on base and how much you can make on top of what you, what you, when you live off base uh, differentiates as far as the quality of living and everything else. So this here is a Freedom Crossing. It's pretty much a mall within the base. And we have, as you can see, it's pretty desolate right now. A lot of the stores are closed because businesses aren't open. But we have from Family Dollar, we have an Under Armour store, we have Smash Burger, we have what's called the Post Exchange or the PX for Air Force bases. It's called the BX, the Base Exchange. Pretty much all it is is just a wide open mall for veterans, military members, retirees. It's tax free, it's very convenient. Uh, we have other stores like GameStop. Uh, looks like the military police are right here. I don't know what happened. Uh, we will creep by them very slow. And then also across the way right here, we have the uh, Class 6, which is our liquor store. And then also across the way, there's a UPS store, which I sometimes take packages to, but then also next to that is a commissary which is our grocery store on base. Uh, to the left there, they're just about to build the Chili's. Uh, used to be World of Beer, which I was kind of shocked that it closed. And then on the left-hand side, you see there's a movie theater over there. But as I mentioned, pretty much all the places around us are closed currently on base due to the situation going on. And this was a consignment. I sold two of these here. So these sell pretty quick. If you're able to source these, these are military grade, 100 uh, ounce handlebacks. So, you know, be on the lookout for these if you're in a military area or you are able to ever see these, or if you are in the military or retired and you have a ton of these, which we normally get issued to us, you know, we, we don't ever use every single one of them. This was kind of a weird one here. This was a eight pound weight uh, set that I tried to list locally on Facebook Marketplace, had a couple offers, but I just wouldn't take less than $15. So I kept getting getting short, low balled on a lot of people, put it on eBay, uh, had someone in Palo Alto buy them right after their lockdown. So it kind of made sense. They paid $53 for shipping and everything included. And I was like, man, these are high priced. But then I realized people are trying to work out, stay in shape while home. And that's why they ended up buying these the set for the amount that they paid. Now this here I got from the state sale for about four to five dollars. And I knew that it was high value price. I tested it, worked, it worked, everything was good to go. Listed it high and I got what I was asking for and I was pretty satisfied with this sell. I've been working with this guy in Georgia or Pennsylvania. He used to be in the military. Um, so every he's been going through my store and trying to find things that he wants to, to buy. And we've been working deals and working working uh, items for him to be able to source from my store and wear pretty much military gear. So it's always good because, you know, I never understand military members that sell locally when they're about to get out of the military they're trying to sell to people that already have all this equipment rather than trying to expand the market and trying to get more of a bottom dollar value from somebody that's away from a military base that would like these items. And that's what I usually experience with people that have been in the military buy a lot of my equipment because it's just, it's just gear that they can't find anywhere else. So this is where I work right here. This is the 32nd Delta AMDC. Air Missile Defense Command Group where we're the higher echelon for air missile defense so you kind of understand you know looking at it from an executive level on down how it branches out and then we have brigades underneath us we have four brigades across the United States that we 
command and control, um, whether they're deployed in the Middle East or wherever they are supporting any missions when it comes to uh, air defense. And so I'm not air defense by trade. I'm a signalier uh, working in communications, but I'm in within the air missile defense community. So as a supporting uh, role. All right. The last item here from eBay are these shoes I sourced from Burlington Co Factory for $12.99. I ended up getting the price that I wanted. The shipping was about $8 uh, USPS, priority mail, and it really was a good, easy sell for me. Um, I, I'm still kind of new to the shoe game, and right now my shoe game is stopped completely because I haven't gone out sourcing, and I have a ton of clothes still to list between Poshmark, eBay, and Macari, but also I have a lot of items to still post on um, on the consignment deal that I have with my friend. So we still got a lot to do. I got a lot of lots of list and that's where we're trying to pivot our income that we make from reselling into our new adventure of the RV slash tiny home living that we want to be able to travel and thrift after I get out of the army. But in the meantime, on weekends that I have four or five days off from the army, we can go traveling around the United States to be able to get. So kind of give you a little bit of exiting tour of Fort Bliss here to the right here there's a shop at pretty much a gas station gas prices here are really cheap even all you know even during uh, upturn in the economy um, and then this is the base housing over here we have a swimming pool a little ways down it's an indoor swimming pool and then this housing here compared to the housing that I showed you in the beginning is the officer and senior enlisted senior enlisted housing area so it's a little more higher quality of living but you just can't catch me living on base housing for however much they can pay me. Yes, you get the convenience of living on base and not having to drive on and off the gates, but at the same time, it's just not worth my uh, standard of living to where I, when I get off of work, I want to feel like I'm off of work and I'm not still in uniform, walking outside, having to see other military members around me. And that's really the uh, the logist of it. But uh, we are exiting out the one of the side gates here, where right next to the airport for El Paso. The new items. And real quick, this is just a snapshot of my Poshmark of what we were able to sell for the month of March. For the three items here that you see, this shirt, these Adidas shoes, and the Tommy Bahama shirt. It's usually pretty slow sales for me on Poshmark. I, I share a lot, but I just don't get as many tra much traction. And it seems like I have to negotiate a lot of times when it comes to trying to get a uh, sale on there. Now, my wife has been very successful on the real reel, where we've already made about $400, $500 uh, within two months on that platform. So, overall, though, you know, I, I, I got to put a little more effort into Poshmark, I think, when it comes to reselling on there but I know that it has potential but at the same time I feel that Poshmark gives us a lot less value uh, I'm able to not have to take a higher bid from somebody or I mean a lower bid from somebody on our best offer on eBay uh, rather than how I do it on Poshmark where I'm like begging people to take a best, a best offer price so usually a lot of times I never can sell anything without sending the best offer to somebody on Poshmark All right, guys, that wraps up this video here. I hope you enjoyed a little bit of a tour of Fort Bliss, Texas, and where I commute back and forth from my house to work and going back from exiting off and going back. Uh, and like I said, this is kind of the break up the difference in videos that a lot of people do when they're monthly sales. Uh, as I mentioned, I do a lot of these just to kind of break up my different types of videos that I do within my YouTube channel. Uh, stay tuned. We're going to be pretty soon going to be buying a RV or Sprinter van that we want to reconvert into a tiny home. Uh, our goal after we get out of the military is to be able to travel the United States, all 50 states and source and sell on the road um, and make it, you know, make it, make it an honest wage of living minus what we make for my retirement and disability but also be able to supplement our income so that way we can be able to pay for the gas and all the other ex ex you know, expenses that we have on the road through reselling, but also sightseeing America 
Um, and then eventually, after about two or three years, once we do that, our plan is to call it quits and retire completely down in Costa Rica and just live out our lives there. So pretty excited about that. But uh, overall, like I said, guys, leave a comment down below if how your sales went for the month of March. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also like button. And I hope to hear from you guys soon. Thank you.